Time to talk about one man sport, that is athletics. And joining me is athletics consultant John Vaslin to talk about, you know, way forward regarding doping in Kenya, which is ravaging the country. As we speak right now, over 300 athletes have been banned for consumption of banned substances, uh, following information coming from Athletics Integrity Unit. Good to see you, John. How are you doing, man? It's been long. Long, man. You keeping well, bro? Good. You uh, look like. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> To make a walk, but we can't complain. Yeah, we always thank God, right? Yeah, so yeah. what is happening, Bana? You know, athletics has put <laughs> Kenya on an international map. Yeah. As we speak, Eliud Kipchoge has done what yeah, he yeah. has done regarding representing our brand on the global mm -hmm. uh, scene. But you see, doping seems like it want to assassinate and erase the gains we've made in athletics. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's scary, man. Hmm? And uh, things are not good on our end. Uh, right now, even it's hard to celebrate a win. Yes. And even you saw the two races, that major races that have just happened. You saw the Chicago and the London. Even taking our people there has been now become a problem now. You find in one race, we are having one runner, one Kenyan runner. Even race organizers now are afraid of inviting uh, our people. So going forward, we might not even be meeting oh, eligibility yeah, requirements yeah, yeah, yeah. to participate it, it, in it's those. It's terrible. It's really terrible right now. And I hope, uh, I, I was talking to one of the officials at AK, is we, we suspend ourselves. I think right now we need to suspend ourselves and put our house in order. Otherwise, the name, the beautiful name, it's going to, 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 to go to, we will be valueless at the moment because people now, everyone, whoever is winning and race, uh, there is no, that question mark, is it for real? Are you using something? And it's good, it's a good that be, people are being exposed, one thing, but again, it's going to be costly for, for the nation. If we suspend ourselves, you know, we have thousands and thousands of runners right yes, now yes. who are toiling up and down every single day, waking up at 4 a.m. to do their long runs, to do their morning runs and even uh, evening runs. So it will be very costly and it... This one will also, again, the impact that it will cause, this, this psychological effect that it will cause to some of them, they might quit. But uh, we are lucky, I think, maybe few athletes are holding us right now, but otherwise, we are, where we are, we are not safe. We are the lowest at the moment. Because so far, this year alone, we have more than now 31 athletes who have been suspended. And there is one that is on the line again coming. Actually, it's over 30, not over 300 yeah. like I had made initially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 300 may hold somebody, but, uh, but on the, the month, right now we are doing 31. I think Monday or Tuesday we'll have the, another athlete who is on the pipeline that is coming. You so guys, uh, as insiders, you yeah, always we, speculative we, and know we, we coming. Get, we get info. We get info. We know people who run away, who have run away from camps. We know those who are hiding. We know those who are bribing their way out. So we have information, but it's just that we want the relevant authority or the right authority to, to release the names. But otherwise, we could be writing stories. That's our passion, you know. For a journalist, the headline matters most. So if you can get the first-hand information, why not? But we tend, because it's so a sensitive information or sensitive thing that is touching on, 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 on a lot of people and individuals, then... You have just to, to lay back and let it come. But let them be exposed, you know. It's ignorance. And, you know, pressure is all over. Yes. Pressure is all over. One is quick money. You know, with running on the road is quick money. You run 42 kilometers, you have millions, few millions in your pockets, you know. And you will find the pressures on management. Managers, they want you to run. They want you to be in every race. They are pre-programmed you for everything that you have to do, you see. So there's a lot of pressure. So this pressure is putting, again, the same pressure is being a... a put on an, an athlete, you see. So an athlete has to do whatever he or she can to, to remain fit or, 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 or good in what he or she is going to do or anticipating to do. So it's not just a one-man game. That's what I was thinking is we need, as uh, the management, they need to be held accountable because the name is going, the government has to come back big. And I think uh, the minister now, the new CS, I hope if he comes, he, he, he needs to rain on those camps. I think it's high time we close everything that is called a camp in Kenya. You see, we just like start afresh. A country like Russia had yeah. spoiled its reputation yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of, you know, doping. Mm. And uh, at some point, they were not getting allowed and not being eligible mm. to take part in uh, World yeah, Athletic yeah, Sanctioned yeah. Championships. Yes. And is Kenya following suit? Yeah, I think so. If, 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 if. If something is not taken up immediately, 
I, I don't think we will last a month. We will be suspended by World Athletics. And it's going to be costly and it will be heavy on us. And we will lose a lot because we get a lot from running. There's a lot of investment from running. We have many countries that are best here in the country that have athletes or have taken a, our athletes to run for their country. So it is going to be costly on our country and costly on the individuals who, who, who have put their livelihoods on running and their families and their extended family and the nation at large because the investment, the huge investment that they are making in the country. So it will not be a one-man show. It's like the same what happened to football. You know, people thought it was a one-man show. Football employs millions indirectly. So it will affect, that's the impact that it will cost to athletics. Yeah. Talk to us about dynamics of doping. Not many of us understand <laughs> the <laughs> intrigues and intricacies of yeah. you know, doping as a monster, rocking mm -hmm. uh, athletics, not only in Kenya, but even uh, on the international scene. Mm -hmm. w w w when is somebody said to have doped? <laughs> when he has taken something that it has been probi prohibited, you know. Sometimes uh, we are told that you never disclosed, you know, details regarding yeah, yeah, yeah. where you, you are. need to w even leave unknown the whereabouts in any. You know, an athlete there is a system that they have that runs world athletics. So, for instance, if an athlete is right here in Nairobi and tomorrow or the day after tomorrow is going to Eldoret, he has to update the system the whereabouts. So he tells the system he has to say, okay, from tomorrow to 13th I will be in Eldoret, so that the DOs, those are the doping officers, mm -hmm. if they are in Eldoret, they can they are able to reach you, you see. So they are, they, they, the doping officers, they have been placed in, in every corner of this country, uh -huh. wherever there is a runner or an athlete. They that are called DEOs. DEOs, DEOs in short, doping yeah. officer. Uh -huh. Yeah, so those are the people that come in, they come to test you anytime that they want, anytime they feel, they don't tell you. That was why there was an issue with Asbel. And I still stand with Asbel up to today. Asbel Kipro. Ab Asbel Kipro, because there was... He was vindicated ultimately, vindica right? Yeah, 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 he was, but you know, he, that guy suffered a lot, you see. But there is nowhere that he'll take anyone because people are involved. There was bribery, there was impersonal transaction and all sorts. And then there was information that he was informed earlier on that people are coming. You see, all those, they come, the intrigues behind that suspension or his doping ban. It really brought a lot of discussion. So when, when an athlete, there are medicines, maybe you are sick. Yes. If you are sick, there are prescriptions that a doctor prescribes to you. You might take, it's allowed for you to take any medicine. The only thing that this Athletics Integrity Unit wants you to say, to, to, to do, is to tell them into the system. Tell them I'm from the doctor. The doctor has given me A, B, C, D. They want to see those medicines. So that they see now where they will advise you now. You have taken these medicines mm -hmm. and these are prohibited medicine. We encourage you now, you will not participate in this time of rest until this medicine is out of your system. You see. So when, when, once they have told you that and yeah. you violate yes. and participate, yes. That means That's when you have gone against the uh -huh. rules of the game, you see. Because you have a pain back. You remember the Komanyala's issue. Yes. He had a pain back and he took that medicine. But he said, you see. You have well, to disclose. You have to disclose the type of medicine you have taken. Because if it's among us, those. And then if, when you go to the doctor again, you have to go with the list of those medicines that are, have been prohibited. You see, you have to tell the doctor, this one it is on the list of banned medicines that I'm not supposed to take. So the doctor himself or herself knows there's an alternative of this medicine. But if you don't disclose that information, then AI will come on you. And when they come, they come hard because for them, they want a clean spot. They want you to run with, with your own energy, not an aided energy. You so see? you are talking to us about, you mm. know, disclosing your location and whereabouts of yeah, where yeah, you yeah. are before. You must, wherever you go. What, what, what is the significance of the same? Because they might, you might be in their plan for testing. You might, they might want maybe to, to, to come at your place at 4 a.m. to take the urine sample. You must be there. So when you, they knock, they find you in the house. If they don't find you and then the system indicated you'll be here at KBC, then they, you are wrong. Uh, they, that's a miss. You are missed, you see. And then they only give you three times. And then if you are genuinely, you are genuine athlete, you cannot miss three doping tests. Because they don't just ban you for once. No. They give you a duration. You have a whole year. So once you yeah. miss three times, yeah, that when means there is something there suspicious. something you are hiding. Why do you run away three times? You know, one time you can say, oh, I had an issue. Maybe you had an emergency. An engagement yeah, somewhere. An engagement. We understand. They understand. They are human beings. The second time, they'll still understand you. 
But when you miss the third time, then there is an issue. Because in the system, you have indicated, I'll be at KBC. Those people, they'll come here at 4 a.m. waiting for you to wake up. When you wake up, the first thing they want is your urine. When you wake up, they want uh, medicine. And then there are two types of, again, testing. There's in-competition testing and out-of-competition testing. Look, for example, this guy, Maria, Kipserem, Maria Kipserem, who was banned recently, I think a day ago. Yes. This, this guy just came out, uh, came uh, back to active running, I think, two months ago. Mm -hmm. You see, because he had in January, February. In February, he had an accident. He rolled his car while taking, going to pick the school kids. So he was out of competition for almost six, seven months. Then the guy is coming back, and then the guy is going to take. And, and then he took an EPO, not just any other. And EPO is an injection. You know this one, you cannot lie to us and then come, you defend yourself that, oh, oh CG, I took it You wanted it in to tea. be strong. Yeah, I wanted to put it, they put it in water. No, an EPO so is So there an is injection. no way he did it unknowingly. He, he did knew it what deliberately. he was doing. Yeah. You know, the, when you are a professional athlete, and you have been in the game for more than 10 years. There is no excuse about that. Go lie to children or go tell those people who don't understand the, the rules of the game. But as an athlete who has been in a game, even right now as we talk, young kids or young upcoming athletes are being taken through the doping processes. But my question is this. You know, ADAC is being funded. You know, I raised this question and a lot of people came on my back. Even some are saying, ah, this one should not come here, this one, you cannot deny me a chance to come to your office if I have an issue because it's a public office. You have been employed by the government. We need to tell these things because, for instance, you look at the team that went to Oregon, look at the team that went to, 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 to again, to Birmingham. You see, an athlete has left Kenya today. An athlete is going to rest in the next two days, coming days. Then when athletes reaches there, the, in the eve of the rest, you are being tested. There are particulars that are found in your blood. Then something is wrong with the doping systems. Because if you cannot detect something that is being going to be detected in the next three days, then how are our systems working? Are we, having apparatus? Are we having apparatus that are not up to the standard? It is our fault. And for me, if, if, if I was on and the And that seat, blame goes to it, ADAC. Yeah, ADAC. They are, they are the ones who are mandated to do the testing here. You have a team that has been in a camp for one month. Then you want to tell me this team, this team, an athlete has been flown from Kenya to Birmingham. When you reach Birmingham, in fact, it was a very huge embarrassment because we had three, two ladies who were suspended. They could not run for a marathon. They denied chances for people who are eligible here. So, and then and, uh, the, the other officer, official was asked, uh, what really happened with these athletes? Then they say, these are sensitive issues. They are not sensitive issues. It is upon you. You have failed. And the best thing to do, you know what? You saw recently the Prime Minister for, 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 for Britain, 45 days, yes. she stepped aside yes. for a very minor thing. Yes. I think the whole house of Adak should go home. <laughs> That's John Vasling so declaring one, that Adak, anti-doping agents of Kenya should the, go home for failing to deliver their mandate, right? The top leadership has failed the country because for one year from January till today, we have 31 athletes who have failed the doping test. We have those that they were directly involved when they were announcing the team to go for world championship and the team to go to Birmingham. They were involved directly because they were with this th these guys for almost a whole month when they were in the camp. They need to take responsibility. And the only thing is this, I will pray and I will push that I will meet Ababu Namamba so that that house, they should be swept home because they are failures. They either tell us the things they are using, they are not working. Those are the only things we will know. Or they need more funding so that they can be empowered more. But at the moment, 30 athletes, averagely in a month, Two athletes have been doping. U Uma, are they supposed to be working in partnership with to ensure that you know their uh, equipments are not faulty and are delivering genuine results? Is it WADA? WADA and doping agents? Yeah, it, they get, uh, I think, a lot of funding from them, even AIU. They were attend recently, they went again. They, 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 and they, someone was telling me that there are some, you know, a few individuals who are big names in Kenyan athletics fraternity who might have also doped, but the uh, information has not been declared publicly. You know, 
we, is that we, close to the we, truth? We, we, it's, it's almost <laughs> close to the truth, you know. There is nothing you can deny there. And uh, one thing for sure that I know is there are culprits who work with those officials. There are officials who work with cahoots. And then they are doping. I, I, I have like around six officials. Officials, other officials, mm -hmm. who even do, they threaten athletes. You wait for a race like Standard Chartered is coming on 30th of this month. You know, when Standard comes, the, do, the doping process is so unique because they just pick randomly. They don't pick number one, two, three for, to go to be tested. They will pick maybe number one or two. Then they can pick number six or seven. You know, they pick randomly. Their test, they do it randomly. It's not that they'll just take those podium people who are, will be on the podium. So they pick randomly. So when you go to fill that form of doping, you know you're giving your personal details on that. You're giving your ID number, you're giving your phone number, where you come from, you see. And then the position that you took on that test. So these people have your data. If you're not in their system, for instance, because Kenya is talented and we have so many athletes who will come wishing to win or get something to take home. You see, that's the very first time they are getting your number or they are getting your details into their system. So they have to take the details. So they have even the contact number for these athletes. So for instance, maybe you took number two position. You were tested. You are, your test came negative. This guy still call you, tell you, you know, we have found something in your blood. You see what they do? Those are the threats these people do. So they know this guy has won 1.5 million. So they are telling this young man, a 500 lasmot party. It is bad. It is bad. What are you trying to tell that young man? That one, you are destroying the life of that young man because this young man doesn't know even what doping is. They are clueless about it. He is clueless about it. This is the first time he's coming into the system. You are taking his blood for the first time and you are lying to this young man that we have some issues with your blood. They want money. That's what I'm saying. The simplest thing we can do at the moment, the simplest thing we can do at the moment is one, the top leadership of Ladakh should go home. They have failed the country. Then two, all camps should be closed at the moment so that they start doing everything afresh. Three, all the agents that are here in Kenya and who have many athletes, they should be called back so that they are questioned. Why are the athletes failing? Because if you look at all these top names, they are coming from one a management camp. Wow. It's terrible. John. Although now the other camp now is also now the effects because if you see uh, this guy called Kacharan, if you see the recently they are coming from global. So again, the camping and all that is the other camps are also coming into 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 the public that doping now is even not in the same camp as we were looking at it from one person, but now it's all over and it is terrible. It's, John Vaslin, athletics much, consultant, yeah. of course, giving his fantastic insights and, you know, quality conversation. It's been though brief, but well educative and informative regarding doping in the country which is ravaging Kenyan athletics scene and the way forward. Thank you for joining us and it's been a pleasure Anytime. doing this with you. Obviously, every Saturday, same time, same place, we're going to meet again next time and talk about what is happening in the sports, both local and beyond. A very good afternoon and God bless.